Okay, we're going to begin a little night-themed yoga. So let's think about our night story. Think about lifting our arms high so we can use that sword. But first, we're going to start with a little focus. So take a nice big inhale. Reach towards the front of that mat. With every inhale, I want those fingertips to go a little bit further. And with every exhale, I want you to melt those hips down into the mat. So we take a nice big inhale, reach further away from us. And an exhale, let those hips melt into the mat. And we've got three breaths. And we're gonna try to be as still as we can be to find that focus before we begin our night yoga adventure. So again, we inhale, we reach further. And we exhale, melt into that mat. Excellent work, my friends. We've got a few more breaths to go. Inhaling and exhaling, finding that focus, finding what we need to continue on. And now we're gonna curl our toes under, jump to the front of our mat, curl ourselves into a ball, and think about being our horse. What kind of horse would we have? Would it be gray? Would it be brown? Would it be big or small? Think of the horse that you want to ride as you begin on your night adventure. And then we're gonna go down onto all fours and we're gonna go into a little angry cat into our horse. So take a nice big inhale, open your eyes, extend your body out, knees down, hands down, and we're gonna inhale, turn into angry cat, making a nice big mound with that back. And then we're gonna exhale and be our best horse. So here we go. Inhale, angry cat. And exhale into horse. And maybe we shake that tail. Maybe we give a nice neigh. Inhale, angry cat. And exhale into horse pose, shaking that tail. We've got a few more here. Thinking about strong base. Nice and slow looking movement with our breath. Again, one more inhale, angry cat. And now we're thinking about opposite. So opposite arm, opposite leg, stretching our body out. Think about being a horse and you've just woken up from a nap and you need to have a nice big stretch. So we inhale, we extend opposite arm, opposite leg, so we keep that balance. And on the uh, inhale, we bring it in. Another side, one more. Inhale, we extend out, reach, 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 reach. And exhale, bringing it in. Fantastic. Now we curl those toes under and we just hover those knees and maybe we shift our weight back and forth and back and forth. Fantastic, friends. Keeping that balance, linking movement with your breath. And now we jump our feet forward and we close our eyes and we're ready to go into our night adventure. Now think about what kind of night you're going to be. What color will your armor be? What color will your sword be? Think in your mind what kind of night you want to be. And you're gonna close your eyes and take a nice big inhale and exhale. And now when you open your eyes, I want you to jump up and brand that sword. Brandish that sword, which means show everyone that sword. And we come down and we ride our horse. So we're on our feet and we're sitting up nice and tall with good posture. Maybe we're bouncing and we're riding our horse. Off on our adventure we go, and then we explode up and use the other arm and we show that sword and back down to ride our horse. And again, gallop, 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 and here we go, exploding. Up we go into star pose with that sword. Fantastic, and we're gonna continue riding our horse through the forest, up, brand that sword, show me your sword, Show me your focus. Here we go, my friends. Okay, my friends, it's time to look for the baddies. Do you see any baddies coming? We're gonna go into our fierce warrior pose. 
So back leg is pointing towards me. The front leg is pointing away from you. You bend that front knee, finding a nice strong base. Sword goes out and you look over it. And maybe you really extend those arms with that sword. Maybe you have a look to see if there's any baddies out there. And if you're feeling safe, you show a nice fierce warrior two pose. And up you come into star. And we're gonna go to the other side. So look in the other side for the baddies. So again, one foot is turned towards me. The other foot is turned away from you. Extend those arms, use that sword, looking for the baddies. Hopefully you don't see any nice, fierce, strong pose. And up we come and hands on our hips. And down we go and we're riding that horse. Maybe now you balance on those toes and you come up a little bit higher. Maybe you stay down. Up we go with that sword. And then we go back to our warrior two pose. Arms out, extended, one foot facing towards me. Excellent work. Looking for the baddies, finding stillness in this pose. Here we go, everything back in, jumping up and extending to the other side. Feet pointed in the proper direction, arms extended out, looking for those baddies. And, and everything into the middle, sword goes up, reach, 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 and back onto our horse. And we're riding. Now is a great time to come up on those tip toes as you're down low, find a little bit of balance. And we're gonna get ready to find some focus again, which includes balancing, and a little bit of twisting because twisting energizes us. So up we come, that sword comes up, we shift our weight to a foot, to the other, to one foot, and we forward fold, finding our focus. Keep breathing, my friends. And up we come, sitting down in that imaginary throne and twisting. So our legs stay one way and our body twists. And feel that twist in the upper part of your body finding some energy and focus. Sitting down in that throne again, hands come to heart, and we twist to the other side. Again, finding our balance, finding a nice twist in our upper body, twisting energizes us. And up we come, sitting in that throne. Maybe we reach up and we grab our armor, and we grab our armor and we balance our helmet as we forward fold, finding some balance on the other side. Now we reach up for that helmet a little bit higher and we grab it and we put that helmet on our head and we sit in that throne ready to go on our adventure again. So we've got our armor on, we get on our horse and we ride to the entrance or the exit of the castle only to find out the drawbridge is broken. How are we going to get everyone across with a broken drawbridge? Well, my friends, we sit down, we lower ourselves down onto the ground, and we are going to be a human drawbridge. So we bend our knees, we use our upper body to push our hips high, and we find stillness, and we become that human drawbridge in bridge position, waiting for our friends to come across. Now weight is in your heels. I want a nice strong base. Maybe you go into proper bridge position or wheel position. You take those hands, you press them behind you and you use all your strength to come up into wheel or bridge and let those friends walk across you, exiting the castle out into the forest to continue on our adventure. And sadly, some friends didn't make it out. So here we go, back into that bridge position. If you want to get really crazy and fierce, you can go up into that wheel position. It's your choice. And now we roll ourselves up into a ball and we need to cross the moat. So what do we need to do? We need to swim. So lowering our, our up, rising ourselves up off the ground and we swim, swim, swim with all our strength and all our energy across the moat. We keep swimming, extending our body. We get to the other side and we made it, my friends. We come up into downward night. 
because you never know who's on the other side. We need to have a look before we cross and we raise one leg up and we have a look to see if there's any enemies. So we go into three-legged downward knight. And then we shift our leg over, weight over to the other side and we go into three-legged downward knight, having a look for any enemies. And we go to the other side to make sure the coast is clear. Fantastic, we find some stillness in our downward knight. Nice and strong, triangle shape of our body. And we get ready to continue on our adventure. And we get ready to jump our feet to the front of the mat. And we curl ourselves into a ball. And we take some nice big inhales and exhales. And we get back on that horse. And we're gonna come up and we're going to explode and show that sword on one side and come back down on that horse and explode up to the other side and back down riding that horse and up we come and down we go and one more time on the other side show me that sword nice and tall and back on that horse and now we're gonna sit down and we're coming going to come into butterfly pose so I put the bottoms of our feet together and kind of roll from side to side Maybe we flutter those wings and we're gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. You decide what color you want to be. We're gonna fly over the forest to maybe you extend one leg out. Maybe you extend the other leg out. Maybe you extend both legs out and you fly over the forest, making sure it's safe as you venture into it. So finding our balance here Nice, strong arms and legs, sitting up nice and tall, feet back together. Fantastic work, my friends. So I hope you've enjoyed our night quest adventure into the forest. We've had so many great yoga poses. So let's get back onto our horse and see where adventure two might take us. Well done, everyone.